everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this really fun gift bag. Now I've done this as a theme for a new home, so there will be a nice gift to go inside of that and then there's a little gift tag here as well. Now this is made using the newly launched Trimcraft USB. I went on there, had a little look and they've got under the sentiments file they have this really cool house so I just I've blown it up on my Cricut design space and uh, yeah I've come up with this bag idea so I've done double so you've got it on the back here as well I did make a little boo-boo because ideally the chimney should have been on this side but when I stuck it down the chimney was here so I just cut the chimney off so you yeah I mean it to be honest it doesn't matter it doesn't actually take anything away from the bag you can have the chimney on the back or not it really doesn't matter but yeah there was a chimney there so but it's a fold flat gift bag it is three by seven I believe so it's a really nice size it's deconstructed and if you don't have a Cricut machine or a scan and cut or anything to cut these files, it doesn't matter. You can still make this gift bag. I will show you the sizes. Obviously you won't have this image on the front, but I'll show you the sizes to be able to make it. But it all folds flat, so it's nice and easy to file away. And like I said, just look how cute the house is. And that's just a scaled down version of this house here. And you just got this little one here and it says congrats. So yeah, perfect for a new home, first time home buyer. And I thought it could also work as well for a new baby. So the baby's coming home and it's got no place like home and congratulations. So I thought it can kind of work for both there. But yeah, let me show you how I made it. Okay, so this is my SVG file. I blew it up so it was nine and a quarter by seven. And I done two just of the background in the blue. And then I then cut the silver, pink and yellow in the actual SVG file, the detail there, and then just pieced it back in wherever I wanted it to be. So I think it's turned out really nice. And along the tool side, you want to score at one and a half. Now, if you don't have this, you can still make this gift bag. You'll just need two pieces that are six and a half by seven. And on one of them, you want to score along the six and a half side, you want to score at one and a half. So it'll still be a cute little gift bag. Okay, then for the base, because it's deconstructed, I've got a piece that's eight by four, and just on every side, you just want to score a half an inch. So half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, half an inch. And then you want two pieces for your sides that are four by six and a half. And along the four inch side, you want to score at half an inch and at three and a half. Then along the six and a half, you want to score at one and a half and then flip it back again and you want to score it two just down to that first score line okay so you want to do that on both pieces and then from there grab a metal ruler and a stylus from the bottom of that two inch score line where you scored it up to that one and a half score line here you just want to score down so you're forming a triangle so like so do I do it on that one? Yeah, I did do it on that one as well. And that just allows us to have this as a fold flat gift bag, which I do like. Okay, so you can see those score lines there. So now we can just burnish, so you want to fold your tabs. So they are both mountain folds, so the two outer sides. And this one here will be a valley fold, just up to there. And then you can kind of lift these two pieces in so they're creating mountain folds like so and you can fold that as well but you can see now that that's what happens when it folds flat so that one goes across and that naturally could go either way depending on you know which way we bend the bag but you'll bend it back because that's how it will work so again, I'm just going to move that one there but they should all fall into place which they do Okay, so and now with this one here, again, just fold and burnish. And really simple cutting here. All you want to do is just remove the square in each corner. And then just take a little wedge off of each end there. Okay, and then we're going to stick it all together. So, first of all, turn your base over so all your sides are facing up. Grab the front. So there's my one. Light down. Run some glue along one of the long sides, like so. And then you can 
can now stick this down. But what I like to do is stick it down this way but then almost kind of fold it straight back. You just want to make sure you get a nice kind of finish. So you can see there when that folds I've got a nice you know you can sometimes maybe you have too much hanging down or it not quite look right so just make sure that you yeah you get that how you want it and then turn it around and again pop some glue all along there and then with this piece if you just burnish that as well just so it makes it easier when you go to put it all together and stick this one down I'm going to stick mine over this way now you can stick it the same way as the other one it's entirely up to you okay and then what's going to happen with your side pieces is they are going to stick on here so I'm going to stick all them first you want to stick that one down so it sits perfectly in there and again that side so again I'm going to run some glue along here okay and now we need to add glue to the side so if you fold it over and just run some glue down there and then just bring that up, line it all up and the top of the card should hit just the house there. I'm just going to bring this down and then again with the same one just run some glue and make sure it all lines up. Okay and then again do the same with the back so and again just pop some glue on that last one. Okay, and I've just realised what I've done. I've stuck the back on, so the chimneys are opposite and it should have been flipped around. So that looks a little bit odd, but I'm kind of thinking it could be where the handles go. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove this completely because I'm not doing it all again. And also it will look a bit odd because that's how it should look because the handles are now going to go through here. So yeah, your chimney should be here. <laughs> You want to make sure it all lines up. But anyway, what should happen now is you should just be able to push in the back. Obviously, make sure everything is dry. And it should all nicely fold flat, which it does, like so. Lovely, lovely gift bag. Okay, so now we just need to finish off with our holes. So it's entirely up to you where you want to punch them. So I'm going to do them so that they are... I'm going to come in from two inches from both sides. So... I'm going to do one at two inches, so about there, and then one at five inches, so about there. Okay, I'm just going to grab my hole punch. Hopefully that will come down far enough, which it does. And just stretch it there. Okay, and then what I've gone and done is I've just die cut four little circles and then I'm going to just hole punch in the centre of them all like so and then the idea is is that they go over the top and I think they just finish it off quite nicely. Okay and whenever I always say whenever you use mirrored cardstock if you get any glue let it dry first but then just buff it off with a dry piece of tissue. Do not do it while it's wet because it will just smudge and smear. So this glue dries very quick so there we go and then you just get a nice shiny finish rather than yeah it all smudged. So now I am going to add my handles and then just decide on kind of how long you want your handles. I think that's about right so I'm just going to tie that off here off the ends there and just make sure that's really tight and then that will stay obviously hidden behind there you can see how nice that all comes together and then just do the same on the back so I'm just going to thread this one through okay that's both my handles but now I've also remembered I forgot to add my little tag so I'm just thinking I'm going to add I've got some really nice pink baker's twine Actually the pink's too pink but I do have this really nice yellow so I think I'm going to just punch a smaller hole in the centre at the top here like so and just feed that through like so and now that's ready to tie on there once I do it all up because I think 
that may well wrap around the chimney and hang down but yeah I'm going to keep it like that for now and then because this is going to be photographed and stuff at head office so it depends where they may want to you know have that but Yeah, I think it's a really, really sweet, it's a nice size little gift bag. <laughs> Just, it's really different. And then it all folds nice and flat. And yeah, I think it's super cute. It's been probably playing havoc with my camera whilst filming this, but I just love it. So yeah, so I am really enjoying my Cricut machine, starting to use it lots and lots. And having these kind of really fun cut files to play around with has helped a lot because yeah, I've spent quite a few hours now going through it and yeah, just playing around. You can't really go wrong with it. The worst thing is you, you just cuts it and you don't like it. You just then, you know, play around again. So I hope you like this inspiring video and give it a go or try it out. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So if you've enjoyed today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.